Now, News Watch 16 Sports. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Kira Dowd with ICTV Sports. The women's basketball team has their eyes on the playoff prize this weekend as the Bombers host the Empire 8 tournament. IC closed out the regular season on Saturday with a win over Utica, clinching their fourth straight EA regular season title. The Bombers will open the tournament against fourth-seeded St. John Fisher at 6 p.m. on Friday. IC won both games against the Cardinals this season, with the last matchup being on February 4th. Following that game, second-seeded Hartwick will take on third-seeded Stevens. The two played each other just last weekend in their season finales, and the Ducks are winners of five straight heading into postseason play. On to the men now, bomber guard Sean Rossi was named Empire 8 Player of the Week after helping lead the team to a 110-96 victory over Utica on Saturday. Rossi, who leads the nation in assists, had 17 helpers in his 18th career double-double. IC takes the win into the E8 tournament in Hartwick this weekend, where they, being the fourth seed, will face off against Hartwick on Friday at 8 p.m. The Bombers and the Hawks split the season series with a win apiece this year. IC was 9-5 in E8 play against Hartwick's 12-2 conference record. The two haven't played each other since the buzzer-beating loss for the Bombers on January 28th. The 6 p.m. game will be between second-seeded Stevens and third-seeded Nazareth. 100 of anything is impressive. When it's 100 career victories on the wrestling mat, it becomes the stuff of record books. With more on a bomber who accomplished just that, here's Gavin Cody. 33 pounds, but Ithaca senior Seth Ecker is a wrestling heavyweight. And at 133 pounds, he's the defending Division III national champion. And now, the most recent member of Ithaca's exclusive 100 win club. You look at the names who are on that list, it's a, it's a St. Lee group of people and it's nice to be a part of it now. And uh, something that I take a, a lot of pride in. And you know, from your freshman year, you gotta win, you gotta win 20, 25 matches your freshman year in order to have a chance to do it. So being, being really good as a freshman is, uh, you know, is the key in being consistent throughout. Ecker is currently the top ranked wrestler in the country. And he also boasts a 101 and 20 career record along with two-time All-American honors. Success he credits to his parents and coaches. I'm a significantly better wrestler than I was in high school, and in high school I was a significantly better wrestler than I was in middle school and so forth, which gives a lot of credit to the coaches. I'm 22 years old. I'm, I'm far from mature and grown up yet. I mean, but I have made tremendous strides, and, and that's looking at these, these people these coaches, and my, my parents, and my, my elders, and, and learning from them. His approach? Well, it's simple. Stay relaxed and have fun. I enjoy the moment out there on the map because it's not something that should be nerve-wracking. It's not something that should be mentally, you should be mentally down on yourself for. You should look forward to it. Ecker considers 100 wins to be just a benchmark because his main focus is on nationals, where he'll face the arduous task of defending his 133-pound national title. When the big tournament comes up, that's when he gets excited and he's at his best. You know, some guys start to get nervous and they don't perform what they're supposed to. And when he gets to that tournament, that's all he's waiting for all year. He wants to wrestle the best guy in every match. It's about being better than myself and continually beating myself every day. If Ecker repeats, he will become Ithaca's Man of Steel, the only wrestler in the program's storied history to be a two-time national champion. Gavin Cody, ICTV Sports. Spring is right around the corner. For Major League Baseball, it's already begun. Teams across the country have been getting their players to Florida and Arizona to gear up for the 2012 season. Joining us live from the newsroom now is ICTV sports analyst Mia O'Brien. Mia, you Darvish was one of the most highly sought after signings in the offseason. What kind of impact do you see him having making on the Rangers? Well, Kira, I mean, the Rangers paid $50 million just to negotiate with Darvis, and then another $50 million to sign him. He threw today for the first time, arriving a day early before the official date for the Rangers to begin spring training, threw 30 pitches and showed off 10 different types of pitches. I think he's got a very great repertoire that a lot of Major League, pitcher, major league hitters rather are just not going to be expecting. So expect him to make a big impact for the Rangers this season. And what do you think about Bryce Harper? He's coming into spring training. Where do you think he's going to start? What level? 
Well, I think Harper's in an interesting predicament. I mean, we saw the Nationals with Steven Strasburg really move him up through the ranks rather early. I would look for the same to be done with Harper, although the Nationals are a little bit deeper than they were when Strasburg came up in terms of their hitting. I think he's probably going to start off probably double or triple A. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if like Strasburg, he moves up, you know, single A in one month, double A another month, triple A another month, and be up to the majors by July. All right. Thank you, Mia. Back to you guys.